In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Kaveco Supra Brass Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about the pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Kaveco Supra Brass. This is a very minimalistic fountain pen. It comes in stainless steel and brass like I have here. I believe the stainless steel is a little bit more expensive, but in my opinion, unless you really like stainless steel, the brass is the one to get. It's very minimalistic. It's made of what they call an eco brass, which is a lead-free brass produced by Violent Verka in Ulm, Germany. Let's walk through the pen actually starting on the outside. If we look up here, you can see Kaweco Supra Germany. And then on the, the cap here, can you see that? Yeah, we have the Kaweco logo etched into the brass. And down here on the back, we have threading. So it is a screw cap, which threads onto the back of the pen. Now, if you notice, the grip section here is brass, and it looks a little bit different because it's patinaed. And actually, when I first got this pen, it was quite a bit more shiny than it currently is. And I, I think the appeal of brass is that it patinas, and it has, I mean, a, a nice weight to it as well. You get a big Bach number six nib. It is a threaded nib unit, so you can change this out with other Bach number six nib units. That's always nice. You can buy gold nibs for this pen from Quaveco, or you could use ones from a, another brand as long as it's threaded for Bach. And the other thing about this pen is that it, it takes a standard international cartridge. It does not come with a converter, at least mine didn't. This is a long international cartridge but you can use a short one, and if you use a short one, I'm gonna take this out without trying to make a mess. This part of the body here comes off, so you can change the length of the pen, essentially. So if you use a short international cartridge instead of the long one like I showed there, you now have a very short pen, which is kind of looks kind of ridiculous in size but you know you post it here and now you've got basically a full-length uncapped pen so it's quite nice that you get the option to change the length of the pen I think that is a nice detail and a cool feature of this pen that is the walkthrough, let's talk about the size and the weight of this pen because that is going to be one of the more interesting aspects of this pen. We're looking at 13 centimeters capped and that's capped with that mid section and then uncapped I'd say that's maybe 126 millimeters posted. I don't personally like to use this pen posted for long when you have that uh, extra part to the body there. It's just comes pretty top heavy. This is about 165 millimeters capped. Now I'm gonna do the weight. About 50.25 grams. So that's a heavy pen. Uncapped 40 grams. Move that section and we can just quickly weigh this piece. So 10 point, so we'll call it 11 grams. So from those other measurements you can take out 11 grams so yep that's about right okay so now length capped with the mid section removed we're looking at mm, right about 99 millimeters capped and uncapped we're looking at about 135 so again you put the cap on the back here and you've got a very comfortable size to write with Uncapped, 97 millimeters. All right, let's do a quick paper test here. So this is the 
Faveco, Supra, and this is an extra fine nib. And this is Pelican Edelstein Aqua. Can't spell aqua. Marine. Okay. Try some fast running. Yeah, okay. So for me, this has been a really reliable, solid writer. You know, it feels like a tool. It's just you pick it up and use it, it, it writes, there's no skipping, no performance issues at all to speak of. It's super reliable. Now we can try reverse writing. Um, seems like it's struggling there. I mean it's already an extra fine it's doing it. Uh, nah, I would say no. I wouldn't. It's actually not... It's relatively smooth, but I wouldn't... I personally wouldn't bother with that. Now, in terms of line variation, this is pretty much a nail of a nib. So, I can try pushing a little bit, but it's... Yeah, there's pretty much no line variation. It's a nail. That's the right example. So what are my pros and cons for the Kaveco Super Brass? I do really like this pen. It feels like a tool kind of more than any other fountain pen that I have. I like the big number six nib. I think that is really nice. It's very reliable. It feels durable and solid. And I like the brass material because it patinas, and the more you use it, the more of a unique object it kind of becomes. I also like that it takes standard international cartridges and converters, so you have lots of options for ink and cartridges if you want to use it in that way. In terms of things that I don't like or that might be considered cons, it is heavy. 50 grams is a lot uh, with the cap, and even unposted at about 40 grams, it's still pretty heavy. So if you want to do lots and lots of note taking, this is on the heavier side, I think. Other things I don't like. Well, it's sort of, I guess this isn't really a con, but the fact that you can change the size of this pen, for me, I don't really see the use case for it. Like I have no reason to take out this middle section and make the pen shorter because when you make it that shorter size, without the cap, it's too short, in my opinion. And then if you put the, the, the cap on there, you're basically at the same weight as the uncapped full-length version of the pen with that middle section attached. So, I just don't really know what the use case is for that. I guess it's nice that you have the option, but... Honestly, for me, I would have preferred just having the cylinder be completely straight without this little drop here. That would have been my preference, but it is what it is. So those are my pros and cons for the Kaveco Supra Brass Fountain Pen. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.